Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is tutorial one of my PHP programming series. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install PHP. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do is go to your internet browser and go to Google. In the Google search, type in X A M P P. Hit enter and it should be the first link you see. It should be Apache Friends. Click on that. Now, depending on your operating system, for most of you, you guys are going to click on Windows. If you have a Mac, you would click on the Mac. So most of you guys are going to click on the Windows. So click on that. Now scroll down until you get to this point here. And uh, you're going to want to click on this installer. Click on the installer. Then you're going to click uh, Run. It should uh, take a couple of minutes to download. Now after it's finished downloading, you're going to see this little prompt warning you about something. Just click on OK. Then click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Next. Click on Next again. Then click on Next. Give it about a minute or two to finish unpacking. Now after it's finished unpacking, it's going to be creating installer. Give it a second or two, and that's pretty much it. So that's finished. Now after it's done installing, you're going to see this XAMP control panel. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on this X here to install Apache services. Then you want to click on MySQL to do the same thing. Press yes. Do the same thing with FileZilla. Then do the same thing with Tomcat. Now, now the next thing we're going to need to do is make sure we start Apache services and we start MySQL. Now the, now the next part, we're going to make sure that our installation was successful. We're going to go open up Internet Browser. On the address bar, we're going to type in 127.0.0.1. We're going to hit Enter. Now, if everything was installed successfully, you're going to see this XAMP logo here. There's another way we could get to this. We could type in localhost, L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T, then hit enter. It's pretty much the same thing. We're also going to click a language. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to write and uh, save a PHP file. Now, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.